Hey Volt Hunters, Stit Diggy here with a, something a little bit different uh, this time around. So, uh, the reason I'm doing something different is because I'm, I'm messing around with the, uh, with the new com. Um, so, the video I made a couple weeks ago of the Malawan takedown event was with the new com and that was really the second time I've used the com in, in earnest. You hear that? I'd gotten Talk. a few of them doing the uh, <laughs> doing the heist DLC. None of them particularly good. Give me an assist. But so I finally got one that was pretty decent and so I took it into the Mala One takedown to you know to test it out. But I hadn't come to uh, I had a decision at that point on how I felt about the comm. I was, you know, kind of thinking about it, like in discovery mode, uh, trying to draw my own conclusions on the comm. So on the la today, for sure, and maybe as far back as yesterday, uh, I've been participating in some... Is he alive or what? Nope. I've been participating in some conversation on the forum in regard to the comm. And there's a feeling by some that the comm is bad for Zane because it makes him easy mode. And because it's easy mode, then, then Gearbox has no incentive to fix Zane. And I'm putting the word fix in air quotes even though I have my ha both my hands on the mouse and on the keyboard. But we'll just call it uh, intellectual quotes. Uh, now, so, first thing I want to say is that argument makes absolutely zero sense. And the reason why it makes zero sense is that we've got over a decade of experience, uh, let me hear these guys now, with Gearbox and the Borderlands franchise. And Gearbox has never gone back and completely redid any skill trees or made major changes to character skill trees post-launch. So this idea that in, for some magical reason in Borderlands 3 it's going to be different and Gearbox is suddenly going to go back and quote-unquote fix Zane just has no basis in fact as far as I'm concerned. That's wishful thinking. So to blame the calm is just, just you know, again, wishful thinking. It, it makes no sense. Because if Gearbox is going to fix it, then they would fix it. And, you know, it's not like somebody, you know, on the team made the comm and then everybody else is like, Ooh, now we don't have to fix it because, you know, Johnny made this comm. You know, that's not really how game design, game design works. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, if they're going to fix it, they're going to fix it. Don't blame it on the comm because that doesn't make any sense. That's just silly talk. Um, so... That's my two cents on that. But the whole conversation about the comm, you know, just kind of prompted me to, to go play with it a little bit some more and do some different things. Because one of the benefits that the comm provides is that it opens up you drop something. some different build po possibilities. And not that those build possibilities were impossible. It's just that they were more cumbersome uh, in a world where the comm doesn't exist and this is an example what I'm playing with here is an example of one of those things so specifically you guys know I prefer the more precise play style right? which is why I run calm cool, cool collected a lot of people like to diss calm cool collected but those people are clueless because calm cool collected is a rather sophisticated play style because it means it requires when you're using grain freeze at least, that you land headshots. And in this chaotic game, landing headshots is uh, a skill. You know, this is not a tactical shooter where you get to take your own sweet time and line everything up. This is a chaotic shooter. So being able to manage all what's going on and land those headshots, let me kill this guy. And then I'll take on uh, the, uh, there you go. That was easy. Easier than I expected. Wait, what are my modifiers? Sniper rifle damage. Yeah. Okay, so we're neutral. Anyway, yeah, so landing headshots in this chaotic shooter is 
it's part of the challenge and part of the skill and fun that I enjoy about it. So play styles that don't emphasize that level of precision, I find less interesting. You know, for me personally. And so I, I normally avoid those. I'll save you for last. Uh, let's get these guys. Okay, that sucks. Can we get this guy with regular shots. Okay, we did. Yeah, so this kind of play style where we're using splash damage guns was problematic because, you, you know, the reason why it's working as well as it is when I'm not sh blowing myself up. Do I have the right shield? The reason it's working as well as it is when I'm not blowing myself up is because of um, uh, playing dirty. Because so, playing dirty essentially doubles the damage of a weapon. And if you look at what I'm doing here, I'm not, I'm not making any precise shots. So this is all splash damage. You know, I'm, I'm getting close enough. Right? And uh, I don't seem to be having any trouble killing. I need to kill some for some health. Do some damage in my health back. Right, we go. But, you know, this is what this is. This is not my normal playstyle. But this calm makes this playstyle less tedious than it would otherwise would do. Now, it's possible to do it, but you'd have to, you know, plan accordingly so you can get your first couple stacks to get you rolling, right? I should. I got a badass prismatic crack, which means I need to put this on so I can tank some damage. Keep that on. Change to that. Uh, what else? Alright, I need some healing. Where the hell is he? Okay, he's immune because he just changed his elemental type, so I'll just switch to a neutral element. And I should be able to get healing off of him. There's two of them. Great. Find a target, you zoomer. And this is gonna take a while. Go. And he sets me on fire. As long as I keep shooting him, I'll be alright, because salvation should keep me healed. Oh. Yeah, just the shot. <laughs> just got to keep shooting. So I haven't tested this in any real way. You know, I'm just making this up as I go along. Um, maybe now's the time to talk about the skills. I don't know if it's going to work. Maybe I should wait until we get to the end. And if I haven't uh, embarrassed myself, then we can um, touch on the, the build. But right now, we're just testing, just testing this out. This is just a little bit of fun. Doing things a little bit differently. Using the calm to make some different play choices that that would have been more cumbersome before. Alright, so here we go. I really hate all these damn barrels, man. It's like, at any minute, you can get blown up. But I also don't like blowing them up early. Which is, I know, stupid. Are you seeing this? Open your bloody eyes! Uh, spider ants are probably one of the more dangerous enemies because they reflect bullets back at you. So as long as you don't shoot him, there, I really hate this guy. He makes me want to shoot him, even though he's not shootable. That was good shit. Uh, we got, we got, we got, we got. This looks like shit up. Ooh, yeah, that was perfect because he's uh, armor, and that was uh, uh, what should we call it? Um, I can't remember. The corrosive barrel. Uh, so I got some new gear. I got this. I got the scoble playing the um, the new DLC a couple weeks ago. I haven't really done anything with it. And then yesterday I got this shield one I'm using now. And once that happened, I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time I I do one of these. I try a different type of build. And this is what we're looking at. You know, we're looking at the evolution of the stud doogie, y'all. The Doogie's not a one-trick pony. You know, as, as long as I can make it fun for me. As 
Sorry about that, someone's using a blender in the background. I'm gonna take care of these flying guys. I'm gonna leave the spider rat up beside me. Trigger fingers getting tired over here! I'm not too worried. Oh. Alright. That should be enough. It's, it's best to get rid of the flying guys because if you in case you go down, it's a lot easier to get a second wind off of the ground based enemies than it is to get off of flying yeah, enemies. How is this thing still not blown up? What the hell? Ammo. All right, let's just let's just top ourselves off. I want to be on the safe side here. I mean, even though the round is practically over, it doesn't hurt. Be safe. Let me blow that stupid up. Uh, how are we doing on assault rifle ammo? All right, we're good. You can't be nice to spider ants, you know. You try to have a conversation with your audience, and they're just going to come out of the ground and try to jack you. I mean, that's just rude. Rude. Um, okay, that's taken care of. Let's get our happy gear back in. Magazine size, gear of effect. We don't actually want that one. This is the one that we want. Let's get some movement speed going here. This guy, where is he? You can't get him. Let me me. Whoa. Wait. This isn't good. This is not good. Okay, now we're good. So, so far so good. Three rounds down. Two to go. Just tap that real quick. Now the worst part about doing Cistern of Slaughter is the racks that get stuck in the geometry and you can't make the progress because of it. And this build that I'm working with here, that I'm experimenting with, really is designed for creature content. Because our shield, without, you know, we're not using a barrier, we have a really weak shield. And we were able to get away with it because it's easier to dodge creature, proje uh, creature projectiles than it is to... Are you up top? Yes, you are. Uh, and then it is to dodge bullets. So this would not work well in a bullet environment with the absence of the barrier. Can you do it? Yeah, you can. You can make a build that works with that. Like I would probably swap out to a stopgap or a recharger um, for a zone like this for a, a human encounter. Wait, where the hell are they? Oh, there we go. I don't play this enough to remember where all of them spawn. I have a vague idea. I have a, really, really. I just blew myself up with that. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna get this guy. Let me make sure I have this in. I do. Oh, it gets in the second slot. Because that's my my second win. My uh my second win. Gun, the army can. The ion cannon. I'm sorry. And I really. Throw all that up together. Uh, here we go. Get these guys. I've got all this movement speed, but I can't fully take advantage of the slide because I end up killing myself more often than not. 
which is really annoying. And plus the geometry in this place, you, there's so many things for you to get caught up on that screws up your slide. Which is why I hate slide-based builds, because it's it's so niche, you know? You can't just use it wherever you want. It's just, yeah, really frustrating. Uh, what are we doing on ammo? Let's just, you know, we got good. We'll wait till we get, we get to like 100, and then um, we'll go ahead and uh, refill. We can open some of these. Why not? You're there for a reason. Where are you? I can't even see these guys. I'm just shooting in their general direction, which is, you know, it's complete opposite of my normal play style, which is to see you and shoot you in the face. I can't see this guy. There we go. I saw him that time. But it's... I'm not going to lie. There is some fun to be had. I'm going to save... But you first. My, uh, really? Really? Death by rock is, is really what I'm dealing with here. Oh. Yeah, nice try. Make nasty. Alright, time to refill our ammo. Alrighty, where does he go? Will it hit him? Probably not. This is why I hate the slam. It's so stupid. Oh my god, this is so stupid. I should have used the slide for this. He's still alive? I'm gonna go melee him. Got a couple hundred rounds off of that one, I think. All right, here we go. Let's let's get our ammo back for reals, for reals now. Should be enough that it can target. Yep, we're good. Uh, what do I want? Magazine size, cooldown rate. Yep, I'm gonna go with that. Out and about. We're not taking advantage of the elemental projector bit, but magazine size. Cooldown rate is good to go. I have no problem with that. Yeah, that badass didn't stand a chance. Okay. One more wave. To get this round complete. Who do we got? We got we got. You're going down, boyo. Let's get some kills, get some movement speed going here. And that was what I was talking about before, that you, you kind of need to get a couple kills to get this build going, and the calm uh, kind of speeds that process up a little bit. You know, but it's not like we're not killing things, so we wouldn't have gotten it. Right, but we probably want to start with maybe a rocket launcher shot or something like that to get us that first couple kills and a couple of the first two stacks. Um, to get the all rolling, but with the calm, we don't need that setup. We can just get into it more easily. And so it makes this kind of build, you know, uh, let me see, what is our modifier sniper rifle? I forgot about that. Uh, it makes this kind of build just a little bit more, a little easier to use, right? So, we can get in there and just spam some shots. And if you think about it, there are people who don't have great aim, and so having access to this kind of build is really great for them, you know? They can do a splash damage build as Zane, you know, and uh, have a good time and uh, take some of this stuff on. Where the hell did you come from? Let me blow you up before you shock the shit out of me. Alright. I mean, we're gonna take some cover and take out these racks as we back up a little bit here. Alright. Reload. Okay, let's do a little bit of cheesing. Now we're going to take advantage of the elemental projector bit. I'm going to put the fire one back in. And uh, let's do a little bit of cheese. Uh, to be on the safe side, I'm going to... No, I don't need to be on the safe side. We're good. Ouch! 
I wasn't after you, but I'll take you. Let's do that again. You're done. You're done. All right. Nice and easy. Lemon squeezy. to go. Let's just finish these guys off. Come on, come on, come on. Really? Death by rock. This is this is what it's come down to. We got engorged. So we're going to take our position. We'll leave the looks like little rack baby. So we can get a second one. Well, he's dead now because our clone decided to murder. Our drone decided to murder it. How am I not hitting this ass man? I guess not. Again, I'm leaving the baby alive for that second win. I'm not getting shot. There we go. The racks are the absolute worst in this encounter. Autopilot. Get a little bit Autopilot. more damage, a little bit of that synchronicity. I'm too fast, and you're too dead. Ha! I love how all the amp shots keep missing. Gun flood for sale. Gun flood for sale. Really, now you gotta reload. So I've set myself on fire, and I'm getting jacked up. Almost dead. You're almost dead. It's almost over. Okay, now we can just clean these guys up, and we're good. Where are they? Really? Who's immune over there? Nobody. All right. End of that round. So we're gonna do the final round here, and then I'll go into the the gear and the build. I mean, it's nothing special. I get, I'm just messing around, like I said, with this new com, seeing, trying out different things that are outside my normal play style, because it's easier to access some of this stuff than it was before. It was just, to some extent, tedious to do it before. You know, to get those first couple kills to get your stacking going so you could use a splash damage base build like uh, I was like nah. uh, like I got better things to do with my time I can shoot things in the face and so that's what I did uh, oh really damn barrels oh these guys oh yeah these are the suicidal son bitches so I'm going to keep my distance. I'm just shooting towards the general direction of the red dots. Like I'm not looking at you, I see. Um, you see that? Ah, uh, got you, bastard. Oh, you know, these aren't the source on the ones. 86 those pricks. And, and the animals are hard to crit uh, consistently, so a splash damage build makes a ton of sense. Oh shit, I I saw that too late. I really should just blow all the barrels up at the beginning of the round. Because it's just too iffy. Goodbye. Is that another one? Nope. I'm like, I'm, f I'm afraid of all the barrels, man. Let's get these guys dead. Yeah, you're dead. Just forget about it. Man, they move fast. Oh, really? Now you want to back up. Douchebags. Now you don't want to rush me when there's a choke point? You want to play conservatively now that there's a choke point? Really? Oh, yeah, come on up, buddy. Oh my god, the A on this game is is actually pretty damn good. Like they were playing defensively when there's a choke point, but aggressively when there wasn't. Gotta 
to keep it moving. Oh, here they come. Let's see if we can't get them all. Yep, we are. The red dots are disappearing. But there are more. Alright, uh, ammo situation. I'm gonna do the ammo thing while there are enough around uh, to allow me to get all my freaking ammo back. The last time there was like one guy left and the rockets didn't have anything to home. Well, they did, it just was too stupid to get the one person that it should have gotten. Whoa, that's weird. All right, let's just, let's just finish it off, get the, our ammo maxed out. That should be enough, I think. Yeah, we're good. Uh, we'll keep that bad boy going. All right, this Dudios. Look at him stalking us. I like that. He tried to flank me. You saw that? That's pretty good AI. He's playing like a Velociraptor from the Jurassic Park movies. That's pretty cool. I, I like that. Yeah, lovely. The amp shot totally missed him. Alright, let's see, let's see. Wouldn't it be great if I got like a god roll Maggie from this? I mean, I'm not farming and I don't really farm. So if I get lucky and get something cool, it's cool. If it's not, I just like playing this game. That's another thing. And a lot of people like to bitch about drops and all that. I just like playing that. You will look to act the maggot. Like destroying shit. Just, just having body parts flying everywhere. It's a good time. You, you know, a it's a good goddamn time. I did not see more damage off of that slide, but I see this is why I don't slide because I kill myself. I don't have that. I haven't mastered that technique. For the people that have, good on you. I have not mastered the way. That, right, I'm gonna try it again. Here we go. Here we go. Ah! I don't know what happened there. I have no idea. Here we go, here we go. Airborne, baby. Suck it. Well, that amp shot landed. That was nice, but he's still alive. Oh, he's a badass. That's another thing I love about this game. Like, badasses are, like, legit badasses in this game. In Borderlands 2, badasses are just, like, bitch asses. In Borderlands 3, badasses are, like, legit. Legit, legit. Like, if you wanted a real badass in Borderlands 3, you had to let a Goliath level up if you wanted, like, a real badass challenge. Oh, oh shit. That, that didn't go well. Can I get up? Are you shitting me right now? Okay, uh, how do I deal with this guy? Let's see. And I'm low on ammo. We're gonna kick it old school. Splash SMG. And we're gonna, all right. We have everything we need to make this work. I'm gonna put that in just to cover all of our bases. Which one am I using? I don't want action skill and I want cryo while sentinels are active. All right, here we go. One, two. That doesn't make any sense. One, two. Okay, I need that. Go get him, Zoomer! That. Okay. Oh, wrong guy. I thought it was the Dominator, was it? But it's not Dominator. I should have left you alive for a second win. Alright, for Dominator, I am going to dominate with that. Uh, switch the elemental I'll type again. Remember that you're a gun and you will <laughs> Goodbye, Dominator. You just got dominated. I can't see you, but Bring you should be dead. What do we got? What do we got? We got. Alright, let's get our, our main event weapons back in. Oh, Alright, we're good. What am I missing? 
I really hate the the pause between um, waves because your skills, your action skills get murdered or expire and all this other nonsense. What's the point, your box? It's probably a PC thing. Uh, not a PC thing. A console thing where you know they need some time to load stuff in because console. Not not simply the memory itself, but the memory bus is generally not as good as it is on PC. You know, they're always going to be a generation or so behind us. And so we suffer. Didn't anyone teach you how to fight? Guess not. Oh, wait, where the hell did he go? Oh, there he goes. I see you, big baby. I see you, big baby. I should leave some of these little ones. Holy moly, that's a lot. Let me back the hell up. These are the ones that likes to explode you. Oh. Why is it taking so long to shoot? Ouch. Yeah, let me create some space. No, we can just work them from the edges. Just work the angles from the outside in. We're just going to work the angles. Get some more damage out there because of synchronicity. We're not actually depending on the drone to do the damage. The drone is just going to buff our damage because of synchronicity and because we have drone enormous for extra cryo. And since these are all the flesh enemies, um, we don't have any damage reduction at work here. Again, we're just going to work the edges here. I don't want to get too caught up in the middle. There's so many of them. Let's crack on. Just going to work our way through. Keep the grenade going so we get that extra damage. There we go, nice and easy, lemon squeezy. Where are you? Okay. Good to go. We still have a good time on our sentinel. We're not going to be able to maintain it for the next. Look at how long this wave takes! This is bullshit! A dose of Zane will do you, biggin'. Alright, uh, yeah. My poor sentinel's not gonna get a full reset. It's all good. We don't need it. Alright, let's get some cover and prioritize these racks now. I'm almost out of bullets. Let's do that first. Uh, what we'll prepare for the rack attack. We'll max ammo there. We'll switch real quick. Make sure we have the right common. Alright, let's get our ammo situation sorted. Let's run. Maybe we get what we need. And we'll just do one more run to be on the safe side. Alright, we're good. We're back to max ammo. Do that. Let's make sure that we have the right Shame elemental type. Should we get that one then? Oh, I didn't want to fight you. I'm trying to get some racks murdered. Mind you and damn beeswax. Okay, let's do this again. Reload that. What the fridge? Do that. Do that. Really? Now we have to reload? My timing sucks. Leave me alone, you little bastard. I'm trying to murder some racks. Alright, let's do that. Who are we dealing with here? Oh, prismatic rack. Alright. We'll leave him get him taken care of. I was going to say leave him up, but we ain't leaving the shit up. 
we're going to change that to maximize damage assault rifle we are going to put no we're good we're good as long as we're shooting we should be fine and we have some stuff on the ground for second wind RIP your face. That's right, Zane. Tell him. All right, that was a, the the most difficult part of this whole thing. Once the prismatic crack is dead, we're good to go. We're go. Oh, wait, what? More? Are oh, those engorged? Yeah, I'm gonna leave you alone. Let's get these engorged. Taken. Nope. Oh, so many things to shoot. Trying to get the, the right target priorities. These guys will not leave us alone, so we need to clear some of these out. We're going to depend on the engorge rack to drop his babies, and the babies are going to be our second wind opportunities. So right now we're going to take care of these ground base enemies. Really? You died? Yeah, just like that. Second wind off the prismatic babies. How are you still living? Uh, let's create some space. Where is he? But I want to be able to get in that corner and create a choke point for the rack to come get us, but we won't be able to do that as long as this badass Skags are up. Okay, let's get the hell out of Dodge, get some more damage. What are we dealing with here? We got Dominator. Hello, Dominator. This gun's doing good work with the Dominator. Get him tagged with some piss. Okay, Dominator is done. Okay, now let's see if we can't spend our time focusing these racks. Okay, these are not prismatic racks, which means we can switch to an elemental type gun and get the bonus damage. Where is he? Let's create some space. Get this done. The ammo looks not too bad. 900 in change. Ah, oh, fine, 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 fine. You want my undivided attention? Fine. Here, have it. Can I get this shot? I need to stop fucking around. I'm gonna get killed. Got it. Okay. Who the hell is over here that has my drone so uh, attentively paying attention to him or it? That ass ferocious reckless snake. No wonder it took so long to kill you the last time. Manticore, let's murder that. Create some space. Dead. Who's left? Oh, good eating. You're up against the wall. Uh, let's just murder you something fierce. That's good. Goodbye. Who the hell is behind me? Ratch. Alright, let's get our ammo back here. Not being smart about that. Let's go just take care of that real quick. All right. Nope. Not enough. We'll do it again. Create some space. Nope. We're good. All right. We want to take care of next. Let's get this ratch out of the way because he will just won't leave us alone. I know the piss should have hit you. Okay, now he's been pissed on. Easy kill. Alright, he's dead. Who do we have left? We got engorged, voltaic, and something over here spitting at us. Alright, let's get these ratches 
Uh, we have an uplifted Ravager. We can ignore him for now, I think. Here we go. Ah, oh, another Ratch. God damn it. Amount. So that ass is dead. There's a lot of stuff here. All right, we're just gonna take our pot shots as they become available. What's your ammo situation? 600. Yeah, we'll just take our pot shots at the rack. We have enough ground-based enemies that I'm not too worried about being able to get up if I'm not paying attention to them right now. So we'll just clear out these ratchet. Uh, these. Yep, okay, no problem. Easy for us to get up over these guys. Right, let's clear them out because they clearly want our attention. I'm bullets for you. I'm bullets for you. Everybody get okay. bullets. Um, all right. I think this is pretty good. We can get back to focusing on these rats again. Oh no no, do not get stuck in the geometry. Let's have a chat, shall we? Almost you're almost dead. One down. Is he in the geometry? He's in the geometry, isn't he? Nope, he's not. Alright. Once we get this one down, we'll start focusing the ground enemies. Keep an eye on that brute. Why is he immune? He's not immune to me. No, he's just immune. Uh to my Drone. Yeah, he's dead. All right, time for the ground-based enemies. Now, you can't be nice. I, I tried to not murder them, and they couldn't appreciate it. They kept attacking me, so no, I cannot. Twenty-three rounds. Oh shit! This is not good at all. <laughs> And I have no ground-based enemies to get my ammo from. This is gonna suck. Okay. I need to change my shield. I need survivability right now. It's my top priority. Alright, let's see if I can't get some ammo back. Need more, but we're good to go. Oh, um, not quite. All these enemies, and you're telling me this thing can't find anything to target. Okay, finally. I really, really hate this whole slam thing to get ammo back. Right, there we go. Reload. Let's find a position to Maybe set up. I'll take a breather. Uh, let me make sure I have my assault rifle variant in. I do. Wow, look at the stadium. I don't care about you. I only care about the flying. <laughs> Badass prismatic rack. All right. No more fire for us. We need to do that. Get lost. You know what I'm interested in. I just need to shoot some, get some ammo, some health back. Can't find anything to shoot. Here we go. Get that one. Yeah, that's the one I want. Screw it. Prismatic rack it is. Not worried about it. Plenty of juice to get up from that. We just need to get this prismatic rack murdered. Or all the racks murdered. Die, damn you. 
And don't die with my loot over there. Alright, one down. Almost got you. You're almost dead. You're dead. Who else is left? Okay. We're good. It's easy mode from here on out. Suck it. Really? Really? Like, how'd I get hit by that? I can't believe I survived this long. That's what I'm saying. I can't believe I survived that long. I'll kill you. I could have swore I blew all these damn barrels up. End of the road for you. That rack is still back? God damn it. I live for this! Right, let's get the boss killed at least. Yeah, let's just be efficient about it. Do do do. Put that in. <laughs> that was easy. All right, let me see if I can't shoot this stupid rack with my rocket launcher. Get away! 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 Did it work? It worked. Ain't that some shit? Iron Cannon is no friggin' joke, y'all. Alright, so now it's just clean up. I want something closer. Uh, let's see. I'm deaf by rock. Nope. No death by rock. Who else? Who else we got? Who wants some Swapping of this? Ammo. Who wants some of this? I'm on fire! Almost but not everybody. Literally. Let's see who we got left. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to blow myself up and die at the last minute on anybody. Is that it? Oh no, somebody's stuck in a friggin' geometry. Well, you know what, I'm gonna call it a success in terms of the run. Uh, it was butt ugly, but whatevs. But it works, you know? Um, it's a run outside, a build outside my normal type build. And I had mostly fun sans the stupid racks. So I'll just go into it real quick and then we'll just call it a wrap. So I'm using the Scoville. And I got that while playing through the, uh, the DLT, DLC content. Well, C means content DLC. That's so stupid, Doogie. Anyway, while playing through the DLC, I barely used this. This was my second wind gun, but I didn't really need it. This was just a little bit of cheesing. Not really important. This is for the, the uh, um, prismatic rack because it, it changes this elemental type based upon the damage that you do so having a neutral um, or non-element is really good this of course to deal with them but this is what I primarily use an arc battery big boom blaster and what I love about it is that I get that 20% amp shot so and it comes back pretty quick and since we're not doing any calm cool collected build we can use an amp shield like that with this and uh, it's more effective than this one because you can get full shields all the time because of the um, the boosters of the piss which is the god roll version of it right now love this thing and uh, a combination of this version of the seeing dead and this version of the seeing dead depending on what I'm focusing on so when I'm focusing on prismatic racks or just racks in general with my assault rifle I put that on just for a little a little bit of s extra damage and fire rate um, so that's that uh, elemental projector I'm really only interested in the magazine size and cooldown rate the 70% 17% as for assault rifle bonus is just a little bit of a bonus it's not a huge deal and um, you know of course the cutsman for the boss uh, and that's the gear um, this is a splash damage build so I want to get as much damage as possible which is why um, we got three points down here in Supersonic Man. None of these really matter. This doesn't make a difference. These two are kind of important. This is important, of course, so I can throw as many grenades as I want. One point is enough to get us pretty much have us at full grenades all the time. 
um, we don't care about the barrier at all. Uh, most of our points are spent here. Again, movement speed. These two are our major damage dealer. We're dealing with a Torg weapon and the um, the Dictator, which is a slow reload speed weapon. So having maxing out reload speed is a good investment here. Uh, we didn't need the drone to do any drone delivery because we are only using one action skill and we'll throw our grenades as needed. Three points is more than enough in salvation to keep us healed. Death follows close, of course. Uh, violent violence for more for uh, for fire rate, which is really good with the dictator. That's really where that counts. And um, maxing out playing dirty, so we always have playing dirty available, which is basically doubling our DPS, which means that we don't have to focus on crits as much. Splash damage is going to be good enough. And this is just to extend um, our action skill. It's not crucial. This is not a build that requires always on action skill at all. So we just spent the one point there so we can have it available for a little bit of extra juice. Um, that's it. So I uh, let me know if you guys think about this kind of thing, you know, because I don't really have a reason to make any videos, to be honest. But if these kind of experiments are something that's interesting and you want to see more of it, let me know and I'll see what I can do. Uh, thank you for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.